This is taken from chapter 8 of Dwal Kuhl's Intermediate Studies of the Human Aura. The chapter is entitled The Sacred Fire Breath. We've barely touched on it, and yet it is so much a part, so much a part of the science of the word. So if you want to pursue the techniques of the fire breath in Dwal Kuhl's science, that book is a good way to follow it. The call we're going to give is on column nine of this little folder, the call to the fire breath. I'd like to just read you a few paragraphs from Dwal Kuhl's instruction. He begins this chapter addressing it to those who would pursue the Holy Spirit as the sacred fire breath. As the inbreathing and the outbreathing of God is for the integration of cosmic cycles, for the sending forth of worlds within worlds, and for the return of those worlds back to the heart of God whence they came. So man as a co-creator with God is endowed with the gift of the sacred fire breath. And if he will use that breath for the consecration of the energy of the Holy Spirit within the chakras and within the aura, he will find himself becoming the very fullness of the presence of God. The very air that you breathe can be qualified with the sacred fire breath of the Holy Spirit. Indeed, the air is, as it were, the latent potential of the breath of the Holy Spirit. It is energy that is passive, which can be activated by the Christ flame, as the energy of the heart is drawn up through the, to through the throat chakra and released as the sacred word. Now the instruction for this meditation. Place yourself in a meditative posture, sitting in a comfortable chair before your altar, the physical focus of your worship. Place your feet flat on the floor, your hands cupped in your lap, your head erect, eyes level, chin drawn in for the disciplined flow of the energies of the heart through the throat chakra. The call to the fire breath the invocation of the goddess of purity given to the devotees of the Holy Spirit should now be recited three times. Give it slowly, rhythmically, with feeling. Absorb each word and each concept with a conviction held in heart and mind that you are here and now a joint heir with Christ. And as the beloved son, the beloved daughter, you are claiming your inheritance. Yours is an inheritance of the sacred fire that issues forth from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega, who keep the flame of the Father, Mother, God in the great central sun. He then gives forth the necessity of the chart, the visualization, the invocations, establishing the mind and heart, using decrees as a foundation to use this exercise of the breath. He says, visualize your aura as an ovoid of white light extending beneath your feet, beneath the coil, above your head, and above the coil. See the aura increasing in the intensity of the light as that energy is expanded from the heart chakra and thence from all of the chakras as the sacred mist that is called the fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love fill the ovoid of your aura. And feel your mind and heart disciplining that energy and holding it in the creative tension of your cosmic awareness. We're going to give it three times. You'll notice the three X. The first two paragraphs are repeated three times, and then the last is the closing. Together. 
I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega. This day I am the immaculate concept in expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved, I am present. Seal me now within the very heart of the expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God from the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega. This day I am the immaculate concept and expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved, I am present. Seal me now within the very heart of the expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I am, I am, I am the fire breath of God with the heart of beloved Alpha and Omega. This day I am the immaculate concept and expression everywhere I move. Now I am full of joy, for now I am the full expression of divine love. My beloved, I am present, seal me now within the very heart of the expanding fire breath of God. Let its purity, wholeness, and love manifest everywhere I am today and forever. I accept this done right now with full power. I am this done right now with full power. I am, I am, I am God, life expressing perfection always at all time. This which I call forth for myself, I call forth for every man, woman, and child on this planet. The principle of this breathing exercise is that we understand the breath to be the breath of the Holy Spirit when we so consecrate it. It's like the Hindus who believe that the water of the Ganges is holy water, and so for them it is. And the Muslims downstream do not believe it is holy water, and for them it is not. And that is very clearly obvious as you watch the two different groups of people and their attitude toward this river of life, the attitude of holiness. Therefore, the breath we consecrate as the breath of the Holy Spirit. And the foundation of the exercise is contact with the living guru. This mantra comes forth from a being of light, a feminine being called purity. When individuals reach the attainment of a godly attribute that is the equivalent of the cosmic consciousness of that single virtue, they are called the god of that quality, the god of purity or the goddess of purity. And so she dictated this call to the fire breath. She is one with every other ascended master, one with the Holy Spirit. And so it is because we have that contact and give the mantra that we then proceed to give the breathing exercise. So the exercise of yogic disciplines alone, without contact with the guru, are no longer the way that we pursue them. We always pursue them because of the incarnate word, the sun behind the manifest sun. So this is Dwal Kul's instruction, and because it is his, Again, we have contact with his person as the sponsor of the exercise. Now you are ready for the exercise of the integration of the eighth ray. To the count of eight beats, draw in through your nostrils the sacred breath. When you first begin this exercise, you may wish to count the eight beats by the gentle tapping of your foot. The breath, the breath is drawn in through the nostrils as you fill first the belly and then the lungs with air. Let your diaphragm be inflated like a balloon and see the air that you draw in as the pure white light. Now to the count of eight beats, hold in the air and visualize it penetrating your physical form as the essence of the Holy Spirit which nourishes, stabilizes, and balances the interchange of energy in the physical atoms, molecules, and cells. Visualize this sacred energy flowing through your veins, moving through your nervous system, anchoring the essence of the balancing energies of the Holy Spirit in your form, and absorbing from your form all impurities which you now see being flushed out of your system 
as you exhale to the count of eight beats. Let the exhalation be deliberate and disciplined as you slowly release the air as though it were a substance being pressed out of a tube. You may round your lips to increase the tension of the exhalation. See and feel that breath being pushed out from the very pit of the stomach. You may lean forward if this helps to press out the last bit of air remaining in the diaphragm. Now let your head resume an erect posture and hold without in-breathing or out-breathing to the final count of eight beats. Repeat this exercise daily as you are physically able until you have established a rhythm, mentally counting if you wish, one and two and three and, and so forth. Be careful that in your zeal you do not overdo. Each one must in Christ discern his capacity, which may be anywhere from one to twelve repetitions of the exercise per daily session. The fourfold exercise is for the balancing of the four lower bodies. The in-breath comes through the etheric body. The first hold is an action of energizing through the mental body. The out-breath is the release through the emotional body. And the final hold is for the anchoring in the physical form of the balanced action of Father, Son, Mother, and Holy Spirit. When you have mastered the in-breathing, holding, out-breathing, and holding in this fashion, and the accompanying visualization of the sacred fire, releasing light, energizing the consciousness, extracting impurities, and finally anchoring the energies of the Christ, then and only then you may add to your exercise the affirmation, I am Alpha and Omega, to the count of eight beats. I am Alpha and Omega. This you mentally affirm once for each of the four steps of the exercise. This affirmation is for the establishment within you of the cloven tongues of fire, the twin flames of the Holy Spirit that are the energies of the Father, Mother, God. Thus, by invoking these energies and using the breath as the means to convey that energy to the four lower bodies and to anchor it in the physical form, you will be building the balanced action of the caduceus the intertwining of the alpha and omega spirals along the spine that are for the ultimate victory of the masculine and feminine polarity that raises the energies of the chakras, merges in the heart as the Christ, and flowers in the crown as the buddhic enlightenment of the thousand-petaled lotus. I place my electronic presence with each one as the guardian action of the sacred fire. I am the guard during the period of your meditation on the fire breath and your exercise of integration through the eighth ray. I am the willing servant of the flame, Dwal Kul. The pattern is simple. Four counts of eight beats, a series of four counts, eight beats each, on the first eight, we take a deep breath in, slowly so that we're still breathing in at the count of eight. The second beat, you hold. The third, you exhale. And the fourth, again, you hold. And we start all over again. And the visualization, energizing consciousness, the releasing of the light into the temple first, the white light, the energizing of the consciousness, then the extracting of impurities, and finally the anchoring of the energies of the Christ. The revolutionary concept here is the tremendous action of sacred fire, that the, the sacred fire breath, which of course contains an acceleration of oxygen to the bloodstream, is and has the power to extract impurities to extract those impurities, to transmute them, to release them from the form. This breathing exercise is very important when you are fasting. I'm going to be seated to lead you in this exercise.
good way to build your breath is to push everything out first. Let's just push the air out. When you're totally empty, you're like a bellows. All you do is release, and you fill totally with air. That's a great principle of meditation and of giving decrees. Before we start, we're going to simply intone the Om for the harmony of the body and the setting of the mind and heart. going to breathe in through the nostrils. To the count of eight beats. Push out and then we'll begin. In. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Now I'm going to do the set, giving that little mantra I am Alpha and Omega. In, hold, out, hold, right? Push out the air. Begin. is the foundation of your exercise. You build upon it, go back and read the directions, the visualization. You have to just keep on building upon it by combining more and more activity of consciousness, visualization, then you get the visualization down so that it's automatic, and then you go into a deeper meditation. The visualization continues, the breathing continues, and your meditation goes deeper and deeper within the heart. The Ascended Masters teach their chilas to meditate on the heart, not the third eye, not the base of the spine, spine, not the crown, but the heart. Out of the heart are the issues of life. The heart is the central sun of your being. Through it you contact every avatar. As you meditate on the sacred heart, you contact the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Mother Mary, Gautama Buddha, Saint Germain, and on and on and on. The heart is the seat of sacred fire. 
in all of the masters. So your meditation upon the heart, as this continues, will take you deeper and deeper into the inner chambers of the consciousness of God-free beings. You can do this exercise while you are lying down at the beginning of the practice of Hatha Yoga, which is the, the physical yoga the Brotherhood prefers, if you are going to do yoga, at the conclusion of your exercise or in the middle of it either sitting in the position that we're in, or in the lotus posture, or the half lotus, or, as I said, during the physical exercise. So it is an integration of the science of the spoken word with the four lower bodies. It's a period of meditation. It's a period of contemplation of the breath of life itself. The great miracle of watching a baby being born is the first breath of life. We all had that moment in our lives, and this exercise commemorates it and enables us to expand our gratitude for the breath of life. An ascended master whose name is Maha Chohan, meaning Great Lord, is in the office of representative of the Holy Spirit to those on the path and to the earth. And he has told us that his electronic presence, which means that he personally, is present at every birth, there to initiate the spiral of the first in-breath of the child. 